Hello everyone, welcome back to another A Producers Approach video. In this video, we'll be looking at Codeco and Ella Poletti's song, Real Me In. Now, Codeco is an artist I had not heard in quite a long time. So to see Codeco's name on Monster Cat was pretty cool recently as of recording this video. I don't know if Codeco has any other songs prior to this song on Monster Cat, but I had not been paying attention maybe as much as I had before to Monster Cat. So when I saw Kodeko's name, I was kind of surprised. I hadn't heard a song in a while. So anyways, let's start with Real Me In. so that's the halfway point of reel me in the intro is a nice intro has the vocal come in with the pluck sound and then the kick comes in with the main vocals and then the build-up section which leads into the first chorus. the part i'm going to focus on a little bit more is the first course and what i like about the chorus section is the pluck on the high end and the bass on the low end with the percussion. That holds a lot like in terms of sounds and just in terms of the mix overall, it holds the song together pretty well, a lot of space being used. And I like there's a difference between the high end pluck sound and the bass when the vocal comes in with the vocal hook saying reel me in, in a lower almost vocoded, if not lower pitch, but maybe vocoded or some type of processing to that vocal when it comes in, which I think is quite great because you can hear the different elements within the mix. That's usually when you know a mix is pretty clean is when you can hear the different elements and different spacing within the mix, at least for me, from what I noticed. So the chorus section is very catchy to me. The lead's very catchy and the inclusion of when the vocal hook comes in is very structurally well placed as well so let's keep going
so that is real me in by codeco and ella poletti i want to highlight the break section and the build-up section the break section the beginning is a little more traditional to how it was in the beginning of the song in terms of how it led up into the build-up but the build-up for this section i like quite a bit because there's a lot more emphasis on the vocals it was just the vocals and the pads that were playing in the background which built a very nice atmosphere i think there was a little bit of percussion that might have came in but the vocal led into the second chorus section which i like quite a bit because you don't really notice the transition but the transition is very smooth and i like that quite a bit and then the second chorus structurally overall was pretty similar to the first chorus. one thing i did notice that I didn't notice before was the changing of one of the pluck sounds. It sounded like there was a filter or some type of LFO on there to change the sound of the pluck sound, which I thought was a really nice effect. So overall, really great song. Give it a solid eight out of 10, very catchy song. This one or this song, like the Conroe song that I did a video on in the past, Those two songs I could see being played on the radio. So overall, just a great song. And I'll see you guys in the next A Producers Approach video. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.